notice that what you see isn't always the reality? Like the way we live. We keep clean what we want people to see, don't we? And of course, keep the closet shut and never let them go out into the crotch. Now, that may work in our physical lives, but it's the closets that God cares about in our spiritual and emotional lives. My wife and I aren't perfect, trust me. And just because we're pastors doesn't give us free passes along the way either. You see, truth be told, we have closets. And those closets sometimes are best closed. Listen, it can be frustrating. When I know my own weaknesses, and I know how hard of a struggle it is to fight against my flesh, my sins, and my own selfish desires, my friends, I'm very familiar how far I fall short. But sometimes I think that everybody else assumes my wife and I don't struggle like they do. Well, it's not true. My Bible says we all fall short, and I fall short. But maybe that's the problem. Most of you don't see us in everyday living, do you? You pretty much see us on the weekends, hear me preach, but that's about it. And of course, it's the weekend, right? We're a church. And like having a guest over, we clean things up a bit, don't we? Push things into the closet, get them in the garage, and make sure things look good that we're at our best. But that's not the full reality. So what I want to do is confess like you, my wife and I, well, we're still a work in progress. We haven't arrived yet, and I'm sure you haven't either. You see, there are definite areas in my life that still need to grow, still need to mature, and like you, I'm on the same journey. A journey of seeking Jesus every day, confessing areas of my life to Him, giving Him the controls, and learning to depend on Him in every area of my life. You know, the Apostle Paul actually said that of himself, not that I've already obtained it, but this one thing I do, I press on to the high calling. I forget the past and press on to what lies ahead. Now, to be more specific in keeping with our series on marriage and relationships, some of you might be thinking, well, pastor, you have no idea. Our marriage is a mess. Hear me out. It might be true. But you see, that's precisely the problem as well as the freedom. Again, we keep things in the closet, don't we? As you're doing right now. See, I don't know if your marriage is a mess. That might be what you're thinking. So we come to the weekend, make things look better than they are, play a game of pretend, but you both know it's not what it appears. Now listen, this is where this study, this series can change your life. It's time to clean the closet. See, if I could give you a little secret, when you deal more with what people don't see, it will change what they do see. Did you get that? For example, there's a passage in 2 Peter that I just love because it talks about how God's divine power is granted to us. God has given us everything we need for life and godliness. But then in verse 5 it says, for this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue and virtue with knowledge. You see, God has given us everything but we've got to work at this stuff as well. Thus, my hope is that you understand that we have this promise that we can overcome anything with the power of God that he has given to us. You know, Kay and I were not granted favor by luck, but rather by choice. We have chosen to work at this marriage thing for over the past 30 years. Have we arrived? Absolutely not. But we've made it this far only because we have chosen daily to open up the closets of our life and deal with the reality of what we put in them. And you can do it because we did it. You see, God doesn't favor us because we're us. He favors those who choose to be honest before him and learn to surround themselves with others who like him. You see, it is my hope that during this series, you're gonna do just that. Find those who really love Jesus, who are honest before God as well, and begin the journey of growth and maturity. You know, my friends, life has a way of pulling us in the wrong direction, doesn't it? The hustle and the bustle of normal living doesn't help in growing and developing healthy relationships. We're in a fight, but it's a fight worth being in. Being married, having three children, and a growing church, well, the demands can be taxing. However, that doesn't negate what matters more to God than anything else, and that's my marriage, my family, and my relationship with others. So like you, I'm in a battle. 
but we can learn to battle together because the results are worth it. You know what they are? A growing, healthy, godlike marriage, as well as friendships and the like. As you all know, I have a prayer walk that has been life-changing, but it wasn't always that way. You see, I remember even as your pastor, where prayer seemed to be more a chore and something I wasn't real consistent in doing. And maybe like you, I found every reason to run hard, supplement it with other Christian things, but I always knew that something was missing. So I made the decision, now please note that, the choice to discipline myself in getting up and getting before the Father before anything else. Now, allow me to confess, that choice has been bombarded with other things even throughout, but I kept at it. And truth be told, there are still days I'd rather sleep in. But for the sake of my relationship with God, my marriage and my family, the strength and being with God is absolutely essential. And being that any healthy relationship isn't about me, I continue to get up, hold my wife and kids and the church in prayer before God. My friend, one day, you and I are gonna stand before God, His holiness, His love, His justice, His mercy, His grace, every part of Him. And for me, I wanna honor Him that day, and I believe you do as well. So here we are, starting a journey together. And again, let's be diligent then of looking into those closets and start cleaning out what seems to have been hidden. And thus, when it comes to our relationships, be willing to do the work. Do your part, and you will witness God doing His amazing part. It's definitely 